Hello guys, welcome to Talent Battle and today Talent Battle is back with yet another amazing opportunity from NextGen. This is an internship opportunity which NextGen has provided and today in this video I am going to discuss each and everything which is important for you to know about this internship and watch the video till end so that you do not miss any kind of important information and you get all your doubts solved in this video. So let's check out this link you will be getting in the description box and when you will just click on this link. Uh, you will be landed to NextGen's official website and here you can see the job is listed. So this is a full stack web development internship in PHP and MySQL stack with Nginx and Apache. And duration is mentioned that is three months. Type also is mentioned this is an in-office type means you are not allowed to work from home. This would be an in-office means you have to go to the particular location. This internship is with PCPO that is post completion placement offer and this is a very good thing. It means like if you clear this internship very well, if you produce a good amount of work, then you would be called for an placement offer as well. That would be the like full time placement offer, but that would be post completion of this internship. So summary is also written. What is this role about? So as a PHP intern, you will be the part of our dynamic software development team and assisting in design, development, and maintenance of our web applications. This role is ideal for someone who is passionate about coding and eager to gain hands-on experience in PHP development. So if you are interested in PHP and if PHP is your field of work, so you can easily apply for this internship. And you are going to learn very much uh, new things, okay? And you would get an industry experience if you join this internship. Follow us on LinkedIn so you can also follow us, uh, follow them on LinkedIn. So if you will just click here, you will uh, reach out to them uh, on LinkedIn. Okay. Next, apply now. So we'll just click apply also. So here it is also mentioned how to apply that we are discussing today. Next is responsibilities and duties. So what are the responsibilities and duties? The candidate will be responsible for the following activities. Uh, that would be assisting development and maintenance as they have already mentioned above and using PHP and MySQL and other web technologies. Collaborate with the senior developers. So always in internship, there is a mentor or there are some senior employees of the company that helps the interns to work and you learn a lot from them. Okay, you would be in a collaborative teamwork which would, which would be going to help you out. Okay, write clean, maintainable and efficient codes participate in code reviews to understand the best practices and to improve coding skills, assist in troubleshooting and fixing bugs, contribute to creation of documentation in software wherever needed and engage in team meetings to contribute development strategies, publish your learning under uh, next GI blogs for your fellow learners. So they have their personal blogs where your uh, like where your work would be uploaded. Okay, so you can just publish there so that your uh, like uh, the the next generation or basically the next people those who are joining the company, the new learners, your fellow learners, they can get some insight from your work as well. Next, what are the education qualifications? Like, what is the eligibility criteria? So we focus on skills, but if you have got a CSIT diploma or degree, it will be help you to get additional preference if your performance gets tied with other candidates. So they will be mainly focusing on skills, but still if you have a CSIT diploma or degree, so you can easily qualify for this internship. Next, skills and qualification. Basic understanding of PHP and MySQL is required. Understanding with HTML, CSS, JavaScript and jQuery, like full stack skills you must have, okay. Next, eagerness to learn and work with various web development technologies, basic knowledge of OOPS concepts, good programming skills and analytical skills, ability to work in a team and contribute in the collaborative environment, excellent verbal and written communication skills, and Git and GitHub is necessary. So we have been discussing about off-campus opportunities and these skill set is remaining constant. Like, uh, like from here we can say good problem solving, ability to work in team, excellent verbal and written communication, Git and GitHub. Git and GitHub is being popular these days because companies want to check out your projects. Okay, so uh, if you are making any projects, uh, you can do publish on Git and GitHub. Use, use these uh, softwares, okay? Use these tools basically. Next, self-assessment checklist. Okay, so this is a self-assessment checklist which is most important to know. So you must have done two mock projects with full CRUD application. Okay, so you must have used uh, and uh, this application and maintained like made two mock projects. Okay, 
this code must be hosted on any free or paid server your code must also be like hosted okay so that uh, they can see your work the project must be running locally and as you may ask to review the code and make the real time changes so they can also ask you to make real time changes more mock projects will increase the chance of getting selected for this program next you must follow php standard checklist so here is the link you can just click on this link and you can check out your php checklist as well your dsa like data structures and algorithms must be good in any of one language so in any one coding language your dsa skills must be good and polished next what are the benefits that you will get so opportunity to work with experienced php developers and learn best practices in web development so you would be learning best practices of web development exposure to real work uh, real world projects enhancing your portfolio and practical skills okay so that would be uh, very helpful for you because you would get real world knowledge in in the real world uh, like projects okay it would of course enhance your portfolio a collaborative and supportive work environment potential or full time employment upon successful completion of internship this is a major benefit they are offering you like if you have potential and you complete this internship successfully so they will be calling you for the full time role as well publishing learning will help you to boost your writing skills as it's the part of performance kpis so next uh, you are going to publish your work whichever work you will be offering okay so you can just maintain a record as well okay on their next gi platform so le next uh, let us now jump into like applying for this particular internship i'll show you what are the options or what is the form where you will get the form so here is the apply now button as well here is the apply now button as well at the end okay so let's just click on this apply now button now uh, a google form will be opened okay it is very easy to fill i'll show you each and everything which you must have before even filling for this form okay so full name that would be on your legal documents like aadhar card that must be there you'll just fill your full name here primary mobile number you can fill your primary mobile number your current location okay just add short uh, address like area comma district comma state okay they have also given you one example as well next do you have your own laptop to carry so you must have your own laptop because company don't provide any hardware as of now so they will not they are not going to they are not going to provide you any kind of laptops for this internship role so you must carry your own 24 by 7 access you must have okay next uh, what have you learned in the last two months so if you have learned any new technologies you can just share it here otherwise you can fill n if you have done nothing your github profiling you just had to link uh, like put your link here okay in this github next how many self projects you have done so 1 2 3 it ranges till 10 so you can just click here how many projects you have done okay rate your skills in html5 basics so you can just rate your skills and topics are listed here you can just click on this website to check the topics whichever they are asking rate your skills in uh, vanilla js basics so you can just add your uh, like skill set here next rate your skills in css you can just add your css skill set here okay next have you created any crud application so crud means c means create insert recording in using html in database so they have mentioned it okay so if you have any uh, made application in php and mysql you can just choose from here so you can fill yes or no okay only two options are there next rate your uh, skills in sql basics rate your skills in bootstrap rate your skills in creating PSD, XD, Figma design, okay, web pages. You can just mention here. Next, please check your concepts you have used in practice or live project. Which concepts you have used? So these are check boxes. You can also check more than one. Okay, so as soon uh, like as much as you know, you can just check here. Okay. Next, your primary email address will come here. Next, you have to upload your CV at the last. So you can just click here on add file and just choose from your local PC. Okay, or your from your Google Drive. You can just browse here and then you can just easily fill your resume here and lastly you need to just click on the submit button so this was all about the google form which you need to fill for this particular internship and kindly fill the original and true uh, like true information so that you receive the next uh, like uh, next uh, round link there are no rounds mentioned here and no hiring process is mentioned here okay so they will be just communicating each and everything if your resume gets shortlisted they will be connecting you through your email id okay so you will be receiving each and every further information on your email ids 
so keep your email updated keep checking it after you apply for these internships okay and for any other uh, job opportunities you can check out to our channel there is a very good playlist maintained and on daily basis we are uploading new new job updates uh, for internships as well and for full time roles as well for different batches so you can just uh, go through that and if you feel any kind of query while filling the form or including like uh, from this particular drive you can just fill out and comment down below our team will be happy to reach you out and to solve all your queries so till then uh, stay tuned uh, next video will come up shortly with a new more important opportunity and a very exciting opportunity so uh, stay tuned and uh, best of luck thank you